I'll be back. Welcome to Double Reel, and today we are counting down our picks for the best action movies from the 80s and 90s. Come quietly or there will be trouble. Number 25, Blade. This action-packed movie follows the story of Blade, portrayed by Wesley Snipes. Blade is a half-human, half-vampire hybrid known as the Daywalker, who possesses the strengths of vampires but none of their weaknesses. When a powerful vampire named Deacon Frost threatens to unleash a vampire apocalypse, Blade sets out to stop him and save humanity. The movie is filled with action and some great fight scenes. Number 24, Universal Soldier. This classic follows Luke Devereaux, played by Jean-Claude Van Damme, and Sergeant Andrew Scott, played by Dolph Lundgren, two soldiers killed in Vietnam who are resurrected and transformed into super soldiers as part of a secret government program. When Luke's memories begin to resurface, he goes on the run, assisting a female reporter seeking to uncover the truth behind the Unisol program. This movie has all the ingredients of a classic. It's action-packed, with some humor injected into it. It's got good fight scenes, big explosions, and two of the best upcoming action stars of that time. I'm alive. Number 23, The Matrix. This mind-bending action movie introduces us to Thomas Anderson, a computer programmer living a double life as a hacker under the alias Neo. Neo discovers that the world he knows is a simulated reality, created by sentient machines to enslave humanity. With the help of rebels Morpheus and Trinity, Neo learns to harness his newfound abilities as the One. This is a brilliant action movie filled with scenes that were mind-bending for the time. Number 22, Speed. This suspense-filled action flick follows LAPD SWAT officer Jack Traven as he faces a madman who has rigged a Los Angeles City bus to explode if its speed drops below 50 miles per hour. With the help of passenger Annie Porter, played by Sandra Bullock, Traven must keep the bus moving while racing against the clock to find a way to disarm the bomb and save the passengers on board. The film is a non-stop thrill ride filled with tension, adrenaline pumping action, and unforgettable moments. Number 21, Bad Boys. Miami detectives Mike Lowry and Marcus Burnett are tasked with investigating the theft of a large quantity of heroin from their precinct's evidence locker. This is a classic buddy cop movie with both Will Smith and Martin Lawrence at their best. The movie is action-packed and layered with awesome comedy. Freeze, mother bitches! Don't you move. <laughs> Number 20, Die Hard with a Vengeance. The third installment of Die Hard unites John McClane with a new ally, Zeus Carver played by the awesome Samuel L. Jackson. Together, they race against time to stop a terrorist from wreaking havoc in New York City. Number 19, Con Air. This action-packed flick follows former Army Ranger Cameron Poe, who is on board a prison transport plane filled with dangerous criminals on his way to being released. When the inmates hijack the plane and take control, Poe must use his skills to outsmart the convicts and protect the innocent passengers. This is a must-watch Nicolas Cage movie. It's filled with action, an incredible cast, and Cage's awesome hair. Freeze, little big boy! <laughs> Number 18, Hard Target. When drifter Chance Boudreau, played by the awesome Jean-Claude Van Damme, becomes embroiled in a deadly game orchestrated by a group of wealthy hunters who pay to track and kill human prey. When a woman seeks his help in finding her missing father, Chance must navigate the dangerous streets of New Orleans while evading his ruthless pursuers and putting an end to their sadistic game. The combination of John Woo's directing and Van Damme in the leading role gave us an absolute action masterpiece filled with loads of gunplay, large explosions, and Van Damme's signature kicks. Number 17, Demolition Man. 
In this Sylvester Stallone classic, he plays LAPD officer John Spartan, who is cryogenically frozen after being wrongly convicted of a crime. When he is thawed out to take down a ruthless criminal, Simon Phoenix, played by Wesley Snipes, he teams up with a rebellious cop in a future where they have rid the world of crime and violence. <laughs> An awesome futuristic action movie, filled with action, great chemistry between the cast, and some good one-liners. It's a movie that deserves a sequel, but sadly, we never got one. You're gonna regret this the rest of your life. Both seconds of it. Number 16, Lethal Weapon. This classic follows the unlikely partnership between two detectives, the veteran and suicidal Martin Riggs and the by-the-book Roger Murtor. Together they investigate the apparent suicide of a young woman, leading them into a complex web of drug smuggling and corruption. If you like buddy cop movies, you must love Lethal Weapon. It's funny, action-packed, and Mel Gibson as Martin Riggs is awesome. <laughs> Number 15. Total Recall. Set in a dystopian future where construction worker Douglas Quaid seeks to escape his mundane existence by undergoing a memory implant procedure that allows him to experience a thrilling vacation on Mars. However, the procedure awakens Quaid's suppressed memories of his true identity as a former secret agent. This is one of Arnie's best movies. It's got some of his great one-liners and the usual Arnold Schwarzenegger action. Number 14, The Terminator. In this 80s classic, a cyborg assassin known as The Terminator is sent back in time from a future where machines have taken over the world. Its mission? To kill Sarah Connor, the mother of the future resistance leader. Get out. This movie shot Arnie to stardom. It's got an excellent score, a great cast, and loads of action. Number 13, First Blood Part 2. In the sequel to First Blood, John Rambo is released from prison on the condition that he undertakes a dangerous covert mission in Vietnam to search for American prisoners of war. As Rambo navigates the treacherous jungle, he locates the missing POWs but is abandoned by his own team. We're going down. We're not going anywhere. Stallone's sequel to First Blood is a pure action movie full of loud gunplay and extreme explosions, an absolute 80s classic. Number 12, Highlander. Christopher Lambert is Connor McLeod, a Scottish warrior who discovers he is one of a select group of immortals destined to battle each other until only one remains. Through flashbacks spanning centuries, we witness Connor's journey from ancient Scotland to modern day New York City as he faces off against rival immortals in epic sword fights. This action classic is one of my all-time favorite movies. It's action-packed, it's got great chemistry between Lambert and Connery, and some great swordplay. Number 11, Mad Max 2. In a post-apocalyptic wasteland, lone wanderer Max finds himself embroiled in a conflict between a group of settlers and a violent gang led by the ruthless Lord Humongous. When the settlers seek Max's help to defend their oil refinery, he reluctantly agrees, leading to a high-speed chase and epic showdowns in the desolate Australian outback. It's an post-apocalyptic classic, full of high-speed car chases, a great cast and great cinematography. Number 10, Tango and Cash. This buddy cop action movie follows two rival Los Angeles detectives, Ray Tango and Gabriel Cash, who are framed for a crime they didn't commit. Yes, I love Jim Conan the Barbarian. <gasps> this classic is filled with high octane action sequences and witty banter as they fight to restore their reputations. You broke that jaw? You deserved it. Why did you do that? Why? Yeah, why? I was having a bad day. Like now? Like now! Number nine. Commando. John Matrix is forced back into action when his daughter is kidnapped by a deposed dictator seeking revenge. Your flight attendants are Susan and Lance, and 
Commando has it all. Great one-liners, loads of explosion and gunplay, and Arnie as the unforgettable John Matrix. Let off some steam, Bennett. Number eight, Cobra. This classic follows tough LAPD detective Marion Cobra as he takes on a deranged cult leader known as the Night Slasher, who is terrorizing the city with a string of brutal murders. Cobra is one of Stallone's best action movies and is one of our all-time favorites. This is where the law stops, and I start sucker. Number seven, Predator. This Arnold classic follows an elite team of commandos led by Major Dutch Schaefer as they are sent on a rescue mission in the Central American jungle. However, they soon find themselves hunted by an extraterrestrial warrior. This is such a good action movie. From the great score to the location, it's just an action masterpiece. Bad idea. Number six, Face Off. In this 90s action movie, FBI agent Sean Archer is on a personal mission to capture the terrorist, Caster Troy. Archer undergoes an experimental surgery to take on Troy's appearance in order to infiltrate his criminal organization. However, when Troy awakens from a coma and undergoes the same procedure to take on Archer's appearance, an epic battle begins. Number 5. Robocop In this action-packed classic, we follow Detroit police officer Alex Murphy, who is brutally murdered by a gang of criminals only to be resurrected as a cyborg law enforcement officer known as Robocop. Robocop was brutal for the times, but made an excellent action movie, filled with great action scenes, classic one-liners, and a great score. You're fired! Thank you. Number 4. Bloodsport. The movie that catapulted Jean-Claude Van Damme to stardom follows the story of Frank Dukes, a skilled martial artist who competes in an underground tournament known as the Kumite. This cult classic has all the ingredients you need. Action, great music, amazing locations, intense fight scenes, and Jean-Claude Van Damme at his best. Number 3. Die Hard This classic Bruce Willis action flick introduces us to New York City cop John McClane who finds himself facing off with a group of terrorists who seize control of a Los Angeles skyscraper during a Christmas party. How many times have you watched Die Hard? It's the ultimate Christmas action movie, which I still can't get enough of. Please, God, no, you're one of them, aren't you? You're one of them. Number two, First Blood. Vietnam War veteran John Rambo finds himself at odds with a small town sheriff who views him as a vagrant and troublemaker. When Rambo is pushed to his limits and unjustly arrested, he escapes into the nearby wilderness, sparking a manhunt that escalates into a harrowing battle of survival. First Blood is the ultimate Stallone movie and character after the legendary Rocky. Number one, Terminator 2, Judgment Day. In the sequel to the original Terminator, a new, more advanced Terminator, the T-1000, is sent back in time to eliminate the future leader of the human resistance, John Connor. This is the ultimate action movie of the 80s and 90s. It's got it all. A great cast, music locations, and great action scenes. A timeless classic. Stay here. I'll be back. And there you have it. Our top picks for the best action movies of the 80s and 90s. To be honest, this could have easily been a top 50. If we have missed any of your favorite action movies, please let us know in the comments and check out the video on your screen now.